The Nissan X-Trail is a popular choice with caravanners and has been for many years. This is the fourth generation, which makes me feel quite old as I can remember attending the launch of the original. Like many SUVs, the X-Trail is no longer available with diesel power, but that doesn't seem to have held it back as a tow car. The X-Trail has already won a class at the What Car Tow Car Awards. Now, the award-winning car was the e-Power four-wheel drive model. That uses a petrol engine to charge two electric motors to provide four-wheel drive. All very clever, but quite complicated and relatively pricey. This is the mild hybrid petrol model. So yes, it's lighter than the four-wheel drive, and yes, you miss out on the all-weather ability that four-wheel drive provides, but it is significantly less expensive. During the course of this review, we'll concentrate on what the car is like to tow with, but we'll also consider how it drives in everyday conditions. We'll take a good look inside the cabin and consider its space and practicality, and we'll also take into account the running costs and value for money. When you've watched the video, please do remember to click like and to subscribe to the Camping and Caravanning Club's YouTube channel. Click on the notification button to make sure you never miss a video again. For our towing test, we've matched the Nissan to a Coachman 520 VIP weighing 1,382 kilograms, borrowed from club preferred dealer Broad Lane Leisure. The mild hybrid we're testing is the least powerful model in the range. Both of the e-power versions have considerably more straight line performance. That said, the car is able to tow the coachman up to speed pretty well. It may not have the real decisive acceleration that you get with the range-topping e-power 4x4, but it's certainly not slow. That said, you do need to work it hard while towing and the engine can be quite noisy when accelerating. In fact, it doesn't even really settle into the background at a steady speed if you're towing uphill, the revs are, are still quite high. Being two-wheel drive isn't too much of a disadvantage in the dry, but we have noticed that it's possible to spin the wheels when pulling away from junctions or when making a hill start, even in dry weather. We can live with a noisy engine for the sake of stability, and the X-Trail does make a very stable tow car. Whether you're towing on a country road or an A road or, or you're at 60 miles per hour on the motorway, it feels secure and inspires confidence. Leave the caravan behind and the X-Trail is easy to live with. The ride can be a little bit fidgety at low speeds, but it becomes more comfortable as speeds rise. The steering is precise and the Nissan handles neatly, but it's not as much fun as, say, a BMW X1 or a Mazda CX-5. It's neat and tidy on a country road, but it's motorways where the X-Trail feels most at home. Depending on which model you choose, there's space for five or seven to come along for the ride. Let's take a look inside. If you're trading in the previous X-Trail for the new one, you'll find the interior design is a lot more modern and high-tech. Everything has been well designed and, and clearly laid out. And something I'm really pleased to see is that the aircon controls here are entirely separate from the touchscreen. It makes life so much easier if you need to make adjustments on the move without becoming distracted. The infotainment system itself has a large screen and it's easy to use. The screen is quite responsive to the touch and it has these shortcut buttons here on the right hand side where they're nice and easy to reach for the driver. The system's pretty easy to use, but if you prefer, you can connect your smartphone via either Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. The driving position is good. You sit up high with a clear view out, and there's lots of adjustment both for the seat and the wheel. Uh, on this end connector model, which we're testing, you have electric lumbar adjustment, which is a big plus if you suffer from back pain. Dotted around the front of the cabin, there's plenty of space to store odds and ends. There are very big door bins with plenty of room for a large bottle of drink. There's extra space here underneath the center console. You've got twin cup holders here in the front, and there's also this storage area under the driver's armrest, which opens out to either side so that the rear seat passengers, as well as those in the front, can get at what's inside. So talking of rear seat passengers, Let's take a look in the back of the car. So 
you can buy the X-Trail with either five or seven seats. And either way, if you're in the second row, life is pretty good. You've got plenty of leg room, plenty of headroom. There are air vents here between the front seats to keep everybody at a comfortable temperature. And you've got USB ports for charging up smartphones or tablets on the move. Uh, the old fashioned style USB and the more modern USB-C. So whichever you need, uh, you're covered with this car. You can move the seats back and forth on runners. You can fold this portion down if there are only two people sat in the back, which gives you a couple of cup holders. And as you'd expect, you get Isofix mounting points on either side for fitting a child seat. Now, a real plus point, you'll see here just how wide the back doors open. That's really going to make life a lot easier if you have to lift a bulky child seat inside. So very impressive in the second row. But if you've got the seven seat model, not so impressive in the third row. Leg and headroom are both very tight. If you regularly travel with all seven seats occupied, a Hyundai Santa Fe, Kia Sorento or Skoda Kodiak all offer more space. Now with all seven seats in place, as you can see, boot space is pretty tight. But if you think of this car more as a five seater that happens to have two emergency seats, then it starts to make a lot more sense. And if you fold these seats down, which is a quick and easy job, then you've got enough space for a family's holiday luggage. Our test car has been supplied with a detachable tow ball. It has a download limit of 100 kilograms. It's nice and clear of the bumper, although the electrics are tucked quite a long way underneath. At the time of our test in the summer of 2023, the X-Trail N-Connector Mild Hybrid costs £38,390. That's a competitive price and the car is predicted to hold its value well. N-Connector models are very well equipped, so there's little need to spend more. However, the official combined figure of 38.7 mpg isn't great and we achieved a respectable but unexceptional 24.2 mpg while towing. We already know the high-spec 4x4 X-Trail is an award-winning tow car is the mild hybrid just as good for less? Well, it is a capable tow car in its own right, but the 4x4 version has more power, greater curb weight, and it has that all weather ability that you miss if you go for the front wheel drive car. We think if your budget stretches far enough, the e-power 4x4 is worth the extra. Don't forget to subscribe for more tow car, caravan, camping and motorhome videos and click on the notifications button to make sure you never miss a new video.